you're watching Yahoo Esports and I'm Andrea Renee. Street Fighter V has officially launched and Capcom has made some major changes to its iconic gameplay. I had the opportunity to speak with Capcom's Director of Brand Marketing and Esports, Matt Dahlgren, about the new V-Skill mechanic and how it adds an additional layer of technique to competitive gameplay. You obviously have this giant new mechanic in Street Fighter V, the V-Trigger, V-Assault, V-Reversal. Yep. How is that going to affect the pro scene, do you think? Have you guys seen anything, any trends in your playtest with the, the pro players that you guys work with? We're really excited about the variable system, and what's cool about it is it brings out the unique play style of every single character that's joining the cast. V-Skill is all about adding extra levels of utility to characters, so it could be like a new movement option, or a different jump arc, or a parry. A good way to kind of compare that to past iterations of Street Fighter. So Third Strike, the core gameplay mechanic was just having that parry. That parry is now built in as the V-Skill for Ryu and Ryu alone. If you put that into that context, every character joining the game has this deep system that's built into it. So once the pro players get their hands on that and find out basically how to use all of these tools to their disposal, uh, they're going to come up with some pretty impactful stuff. So we're very excited uh, to see the com competitive scene rally around the product. I'm sure they're going to come up with a lot of amazing tactics. Capcom Pro Tour is going to be awesome to watch. I'm super excited about you know the V-Trigger because it is an, a special move that I feel like I can master quickly, yeah. but some people might look at that as a dumb down of like the very high technical skill you need to be you know a pro level player in Street Fighter what do you have to say about that so striking that balance between making a game that's inviting to new players as well as maintaining that complexity to take care of our hardcore fans is one of the biggest debates we have internally I think the variable system has accomplished just that so for players that just are getting their feet wet it's their first fighting game you're always going to have your V skill and your V trigger at your disposal anyone can execute those just by pressing two buttons at the same time uh, but we still have complex commands like critical arts. So critical arts still require double fireball motions. Uh, that does take a bit of practice to get used to. But I think there's a better gradual learning curve to be had for players this time around. Whereas last time, I think it may have just been a little bit too much for them to, to handle all at once. So I think we definitely have the best of both worlds.